Hello Weightless Warriors, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is doing well. I do have a fresh Dollar Tree haul that I love to share with you all before we get into it. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and explore a few of my videos. If you find that you like my content, go ahead and subscribe and stick around. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. So, I finally found the Ornament Ball Markers. This is by the Cracker Square brand. And I did find all three colors that I believe that they have out right now. I got the gold. And what's so special about these and why everyone is sticking them up, obviously for the um, the customizable, crafty um, Christmas ornaments. So, they have other uses too. My point in saying all that was to say they have other uses. So, it just says that they write on glass and plastic. So, for me in particular, I will be using the silver and white to write on a few of the... Um, DIY ornaments that's the name of them I will be using the white and silver to write on the DIY ornaments myself but I can also use them to write on the customizable journals that I'm making currently so I did pick up the gold and the silver and the white excuse my nails y'all I'm in between putting them on you know that little period where you're trying to let your fingers rest I did pick up some of the Christmas House brand of the 9-foot ribbon. This one is just basic silver and white. So that's pretty cute for Christmas crafts, of course. Next thing I picked up, and it had to leave a store of me. This is the cutest little box. It's just a little gift box, you know. Nothing too fancy, but what I really love about it, it does say let it snow. Y'all know I'm not a fan of the snow, but it also says merry and bright. And it's got this cute little pickup truck with some Christmas trees and presents on the back of it. And I thought that my mom would really love this. So for Christmas, um you know, with uh, some of her gifts. I'll put some goodies in here too for her. And it'll be a nice little keepsake box. And um, my mom loves to decorate for Christmas, so I can see her saving this. And I love the color on the inside. Isn't that a pretty color? And it smells new, you know. It doesn't smell like it's been sitting anywhere for a long amount of time. But that's really cute. That glitter does transfer, but I mean, you know, whatever. <laughs> I did also pick up, and this is a collective haul, I went to Dollar Tree on Monday afternoon to pick up, you know, something really basic, something I don't even have in this haul right now. Um, I went to pick up some gauze, some of the Curat brand small gauze that comes with 10 in a pack, so I did pick up two boxes of those, but then when I went in there, I found these, and this is the Christmas House brand, and this is the 18 foot, 18 inch Christmas tree in white. And our um, our regular Christmas tree, which is just like a six foot uh, Christmas tree, is already white. So I wanted a smaller one so that I could decorate a little tree by my little crafting area. Next, I never buy gift bags at all. I don't think I've ever hauled a gift bag um, on my channel. I mean, I buy them during Christmas time, but I've never hauled one, you know, on my channel <laughs> but this one's too cute again i thought that my mother would love it because it does have a reindeer in the middle and it says merry christmas i guess she would call this a reindeer or a deer whatever that is so cute and it's a pretty large gift bag and it's by the voila brand and it's got this cute little green glittery tag love that now Enough with the Christmas stuff. I did pick up two cans of the Rotel Original Diced Tomatoes and Green Chilies. These are 10 ounce cans. So we picked up two of those. Y'all already know we're probably going to make some Rotel dip. And I'll tell y'all a little secret. This will be my first time making it. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> it seems pretty simple. I'm sure I could figure it out. If not, Madeline will come back through and fix it after I mess up. <laughs> now... We did pick up some more of the Badoku snacks. Um, that's B-A-U-D-U-C-C-O. We hauled this a couple weeks ago. These are the sugar-free vanilla wafers, the wafer cookies. Madeline really loves these, so we picked up another one for her. Just a little snack to take to work. Um, a 4.23 ounce um, container of it. Like I said, sugar-free. Uh, the Badoku products are a product of Brazil. It says that they are made in Brazil. 
So I know I have people that will ask that question, you know, where it's made and all that stuff. And then for me, I picked up just the regular strawberry wafers. I will take it to work. And like I said, Madeline likes the sugar-free. If for whatever reason I don't like the strawberry, I could share it with somebody at work and it'll be a nice little snack for them. It won't go to waste. And also, I picked this up, the Badoku sandwich cookies. And these are just chocolate sandwich cookies. And they look like they'll be pretty good. A cookie with chocolate flavored uh, filling. Chocolate cookies with chocolate flavored filling. And it is a, it says it's a family pack. It has three packs that are individually wrapped. So these come with individually wrapped packs. So if I open one and I decide that I don't like it, I have two other packs that I can go share with somebody at work. Because these do have sugar in them. So Madeline can't eat them. She could eat a little bit. It only has 10 grams of sugar. But I'll try these out and see how they are. And um, a new find. Never seen this before at the Dollar Tree. Um, I don't even know the brand. It doesn't have a brand. It just says lemon cookies. Artificially flavored. Crisp cookies rolled in sugar. Uh, six ounces. Zero grams of trans fat. And it has only eight grams of sugar. So it's really not too bad. So we did pick these up. And these are a product, I believe, of Argentina. Argentina. A repurchase for us. We picked up two more of the Brillo Basics uh, 12 count reusable wipes. Excuse me. We originally bought two before. I've already used an entire pack for our cleaning. And I really, really like it. So we bought two more. And I'm thinking we should have bought even more than that. Because I really like those. I didn't think I would like them, to be honest. All right, next I found another, um, my camera just did a thing. Hopefully it doesn't fall. Um, I found another old Williamsburg mason jar candle. This is the berry truffle. So we did pick up two of these. And y'all, y'all know, y'all already know how I feel about the, the mason jar candles. They're wonderful. They have an, es an excellent throw. You won't have any issues out of it, so... Go buy them if you see them. So we only got two of those because I believe that's all they had. We picked up the Renew It and this is a gel air freshener. I love these. This is something I've purchased many times um, in many different scents. This one happens to be the Blissful Apple and Cinnamon. And on the front of it, it says Hope for a Cure. So it does have the pink breast cancer awareness ribbon on there. So we did get two of those. And next, my store got in more of these refills. This is the Clar and Danver Liquid Hand Soap Refill. And this is in the Berry Delicious. And this is the 23 fluid ounces. We have tried this Berry Delicious hand soap already in our bathroom. And we absolutely love it. It smells like something straight from Bath and Body Works. So while our store had in the refill, we got some of these. Next, I did find the new eyeshadow palettes. I've seen a few ladies haul and um, I almost didn't think they were coming to my store just because, you know, my stores are behind the couple of stores I do go to. But we did find them and this is the LA Colors eyeshadow. So I did pick it up in the rose. And I'm sure all of these colors will look great on my skin tone. Um, I typically don't have a problem with the LA Colors eyeshadow of any kind. This is the nude. And I really, I usually wear colors like this anyway on my eyelids. And this one is the Smoky. And they also had the um, the lip color and the bronzer and the highlighter. Um, I have enough lippies and I don't wear bronzer or highlighter. So I decided to just leave those behind. Uh, a new find, this is the Diamond Brand Jumbo Lip Pencil, and it's in the color Spicy Classic Chic. So, actually seen only in my dreams haul this, so I was hoping I would come across it at my store, and I did. So, I'll go ahead and swatch it for you now, since this one is for just for me. Madeline was like, no, babe, I have too many lippies, and you do too. And I was like, I know, but I want this one, so I got it. Sorry, y'all. Okay. So, it's a cute little packaging. Really cute and simple. And that's what the color looks like right there. And it's a little funny smell, but it's okay. 
it goes on really smooth and very moisturizing and I love that look at that color that's so cute and the color that I'm actually wearing on my lips right now it is a wet and wild but I think it's a wet and wild that I got from Walmart and it is in the color fuchsia blue pearl and it's a lipstick but it's just it looks really glossy but it is actually a lipstick next <clears throat> excuse me y'all I picked up two of the diamond brand eyelash kits this one is the um exciting so they have like different names and stuff and this one is the feathery so y'all can see the clear differences in those and y'all know I don't wear false, false eyelashes but I know somebody that may like these so I'll send these out in friend mail along with the elf eyelashes that I picked up a couple weeks ago Next, I did find the new Vicks brand of the Vapor Drops. It comes with 20 drops, and it's for cough relief with the menthol flavor. So, I'll test these out. I'm sure they'll be fine. And, you know, colder weather's coming up. The seasons are changing. This is typically a time when people do get ill and stuff like that. I managed to come across, finally, some of the Self Ink Stamps by Jot. I picked up this one that says, Be Happy. And I also, uh -oh, I picked up the one, it just has hearts on it. I believe I opened it. I haven't tested it out yet, but I'm sure it's fine. So that one has the heart. Next, I just picked up another thing of my Podge. I was running a little bit low. So I got that, two fluid ounces. Picked up two things of this uh, tool bench duct tape, and it's in like the holographic duct tape. So I did pick that up. I also got me and Madeline some of the women's texting gloves. Um, we've gotten this before in the past from Walmart, and of course, I'm pretty sure they were more than a dollar. They're probably like three or five dollars. So I did pick up um, us both a pair in purple. And I also got us both a pair in black. I guess you could call this black or maybe a dark gray. I don't know. Black. Got those for us for the winter. Next, the find of the week besides the eyeshadow. One of the stores I went into finally had the Sunbeam LED desk lamp. And when I tell y'all, I, I walked around the store quite a few times. It's a smaller store, so I wanted to make sure I wasn't missing anything because they kind of have everything jam-packed in there. And I walked by it, I would say, at least three times until finally I was going to check out. And I looked at it, and I said, oh, my gosh, Wendy, girl, what are you doing? I walked by it legit three times. So, we picked up a couple of these um, for Christmas gifts and also some for us to have. Uh, whenever we are looking, you know, to move to a bigger space, it would be nice to have some additional desk lamps, um, for Madeline a desk and for me an additional desk for crafting or whatever. So the Sunbeam LED desk lamp, no bulbs to replace, um, 36,000 hours. It has three levels of dimming, task, relax, and a nightlight. And this little thing is kind of heavy, no lie. And they had a huge palette of it. My store, they didn't have a sign up saying there was a limit. I don't know if maybe if you put too many in your cart, they would, you know, stop you at checkout. I don't know. Uh, we only purchased a couple. We didn't go crazy. But, you know. So, keep your eye out. Like, I literally walked right by it. I wasn't even thinking. I guess I thought it was just regular boxes they hadn't stocked until I actually looked at it. So, you know, keep your eye out. I picked up three packs of these voila brand bows i got them in silver red and gold and i'll just be using those for christmas crafts or diys um when i had went back to the one dollar tree just my local very small town dollar tree they were the only ones that carried these glitter journals that i've been using to make the customized journals I went back on Monday and got about four of these and they still had almost all of them left on Monday when I went because I seemed to be the only person buying them. So I went back today and there was literally only one left. So I snagged the one that was left. 
and the last two things that I have, um, nothing too special, both job brand small um, envelope mailers, the eight count and the little bit larger one, this is the six count with the clasp. So I needed these for friend mail and other mail that needs to be sent out. Hope y'all enjoyed this haul. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I thank y'all so much for watching. As always, please comment down below and let me know what was your favorite item that I hauled this week. And let me know some items that you're looking for. I'm still on the hunt for those new cute little um, coupon organizers. I love to have one of those. And um, y'all know those snackies cups. They never came to my store. So this is just some of the things that I'm looking for. I hope that y'all are doing well. As always, comment down below and let me know that as well. I haven't been commenting back on a lot of my comments here lately. Um, you know, I'm trying to pick a day of the week maybe to go through and respond to all of those. And I know that y'all understand. And please just be patient with me. Nonetheless, I hope that y'all stay safe and blessed. And I'll talk to you again in the next one.